We'll cover how to configure a standard fiscal year, scroll to the top right, and go to Setup. Search for Fiscal Year. Here you can see that Standard Fiscal Year is enabled by default. And you can see the name of your organization, the fiscal year start month is January. And since this is the standard fiscal year, it follows the Gregorian calendar, which is 12 months. So the ending month is December 2021. Fiscal year is based on either the starting month and the ending month. So this determines the naming convention of the fiscal year as you see it in the reports and forecast pages. So if you just have a look at the report, so this is an opportunities report, you can see with this current setting, the fiscal year name for this particular opportunity is quarter to 2021. If, let's say if you want to change the fiscal year start month to April, and the fiscal year is now based on the ending months. So the fiscal year now would span from April 2021, 1st of April 2021 to 31st of March, 2022. And since you've selected fiscal year is based on the ending month, you would see FI 2022 on the report page and forecast page. So let's save this and see the output. If I refresh my report, now, you can see that first of all, the fiscal period available is 2022. And these are the opportunities that lie within the respective fiscal period. So you can see the changes that have happened. And if I go to the forecast page, you can see that the forecast page also shows FY 2022 because I have selected the ending month which lies in March 2022. So that is how the output would look like thank you for watching.